Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating this super cute bunny hanging decor made with items from, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree. This DIY is part of an Easter themed collaborative effort along with several other extremely talented YouTube crafters. Make sure you check out their Easter creations as well and the link to the playlist will be in the description box below. In addition, I have provided the link to the bunny template and a list of supplies and tools used to make this project in the description box below as well. I am so excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my awesome subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump right in! So if you've been following me for a while, you may recognize this snowman I created last year using the Dollar Tree microfiber mop head. Well, we're going to bring that mop head back for this project for this Easter Bunny. The supplies we will need are one microfiber mop head, some foam board, craft sticks, assorted ribbon and flowers, and some jute twine. First thing we need to do is to go ahead and print out the template of the bunny. And the link again is provided in the description box below. And then we're going to take all four sheets and we're going to fold and tape them together being sure to match up all of the lines. Now we're going to trim off that excess. Now go ahead and grab your foam board and we want to place our bunny template on the top. We're going to go ahead and mark the size of the foam board that you need and we're going to go ahead and cut off that excess foam board as well. Then you want to take your template and go ahead and lay it face down on top of that foam board. Go ahead and secure it to the tip to the uh, foam board in place with tape. So now go ahead and grab your embossing tool, which is also available at the Dollar Tree, and go over your template, transferring the indention and some of the ink to the foam board. Now once complete, go ahead and remove your template and go over that indention with a pencil so you can see it a little bit better. So now we're going to go ahead and grab our mop head and remove it from the packaging. Go ahead and separate the strands and you want to um, see if you can find that black clip in the middle. And once you do, go ahead and take some wire clippers, snip one side of that clasp, and it should release all of your strands. Then you want to go ahead and detangle the strands. Now this mop head ended up with four bunches of strands. So place those to the side and then grab your foam board. Now we're going to start applying those strands to the head and the body in a circular pattern and then we're going to start working on the ears and also the feet. Now to start go ahead and grab your hot glue gun and then go ahead and grab the end of one of those mop head strands. Now we're going to start with a tiny dab of that hot glue just to secure that end and then we're going to trace around the outside of that bunny with the hot glue. Now you want to continue around the body in a circular pattern. And then when you reach the middle, just go ahead and clip that strand and secure in the middle with a little bit of that hot glue. And then just go ahead and press everything gently into place. Now for the head of the bunny, we're going to go ahead and repeat this process the same way we did with our body.
And now that the head is done, we can start on the ears. Now we want to start on the outside edge of the ear, applying our hot glue. Then grab another strand of that mop head and secure it to the glue and wind it around each of the ears the same way as the body. And when we finish the ears, we can do the same thing with the feet as well. And here's our bunny with all the strands completed. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and I want to cut the bunny out along the outside edge of the mop head strands. Then we're just going to flip it over and remove that cutout. And now what we're going to do is apply a strand of that mop head to the outside raw edge that we just trimmed. What we want to do is just apply a little hot glue around that outside edge, press that strand into place all the way around the bunny. And here it is, fully applied. So I wanted to go ahead and reinforce the ears and the neck on my bunny. I will be using craft sticks to, you know, put on these areas to make the bunny more sturdy. And what I'm going to do is just apply a little hot glue to the craft stick and secure it in place. All right, so now that that's done, it's time to embellish. Now we can go ahead and grab our ribbons of your choice. Now for the base ribbon, um, what I'm gonna simply do is fold the ribbon over on itself until I have three complete loops on each side. And then we can select um, other coordinating ribbon and fold them in the same way, making sure that each layer that you add is just a tad bit shorter than the previous one. So now that we have our stack, we want to cut in on each side, making sure we don't cut it all the way across. And I didn't show it, but tie some jute string around the middle and then take a piece of fabric or ribbon and wrap it around the center and secure it in the back with hot glue. Then you just want to go ahead and fluff out all of your layers of your bow. And then to hold the shape, we want to apply a bit of hot glue in and around those layers. And now what I want to do is take another small length of that base ribbon and I want to resize it to about an inch wide. Then I'm gonna run a bead of hot glue down the middle and apply a decorative ribbon. I'm gonna take that ribbon and I'm gonna fit that around the bunny's neck area and flip it over and hot glue it in place. Now I'm just trying to decide where I wanna put that bow. So once I picked a place, I decided to pin my bow into place instead of hot glue it. This way I can change it up when I want to. Perfect.
Now let's go ahead and give our bunny a tail. So I have a, to cut a, I'm cutting a small piece of the mop and I'm adhering it to a, or taping it to a piece of cardboard. And then I'm just gonna take my strand and I'm gonna wrap it around the cardboard several times. And then I'm gonna undo that taped strand and tie it together in a knot. Then take your scissors and kind of maneuver them under the wrapped strands and we wanna cut them right down the middle. Then all you have to do is just give your tail a haircut and a fluff. And when that tail is fluff as, fluffy as you like, go ahead and apply some hot glue to the bottom and press it into place. So now I think I want to add a flower to my bow. So I grab this spring flower that's currently available at the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is pin this in place as well. And finally, I'm going to take some of this jute string and wrap it around three or four times. And then I'm going to apply some hot glue to the back and press the end of that jute string into place. And I'm gonna cover that end with just a scrap of that burlap ribbon. And then I'm just gonna repeat this with the other side. And now it's all put together. And here is my completed bunny project. This little bunny turned out so cute and he will make his debut on my front door this Easter. I love how this cute little bow is bursting with spring and Easter colors and it makes the bunny look so sweet. And I love how cute that these, the mop head strands with the white and the gray perfectly complement the bunny. And you only need one pack for this project. You can change out the bow to any color or design that you like since we only pinned it in place. And adding that cute little fluffy tail is super cute, isn't it? Perfect way to make our bunny complete. You can hang this little guy on the inside or out, but either way, it will make a perfect display for your Easter holiday. Listen, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure you're following She So Crafty EE -E on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and clicking on that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.